The crab is a decapod crustacean belonging to the order Brachyura, which means short tail. But, you know, its evolutionary history is far older than most people imagine. The first crab ancestors appeared over 400 million years ago, during the Devonian period, long before the dinosaurs. The true modern crabs, or Brachyura, emerged about 200 million years ago, in the Jurassic period, during the era of the great reptiles. Over the past 100 million years, crabs have diversified into hundreds of different forms, colonizing seas, rivers, lagoons, swamps, shorelines, and even terrestrial environments, like coconut crabs. Here's a surprising fact. The so-called carcinization is an evolutionary phenomenon in which different groups of crustaceans independently evolved to assume a crab-like body shape. This has happened at least five times in evolutionary history. No other animal form has inspired so many transformations. Crabs are protected by a hard shell or exoskeleton made of chitin and minerals, shielding them from predators and impacts. They have 10 limbs, hence the name decapods, two front claws called chile, and eight walking legs. They don't breathe with lungs but with gills. Even land-dwelling species must keep their gills moist to survive. To grow, crabs must molt their exoskeleton, a process called ecdysis, which honestly makes them temporarily vulnerable. Here's something fascinating about their nervous system. Some species can keep moving even after losing a body part, since many motor functions are distributed across peripheral nerve ganglia. When it comes to distribution, crabs are true masters of every environment. They're found in every ocean in the world, from tropical coral reefs to the deepest ocean trenches and even Arctic waters. They live in salt water, like the Atlantic blue crab and snow crab, in freshwater, such as the African river crab, and even on land, like the coconut crab and Christmas Island red crab. Some are herbivores, others predators, and some scavengers. They are, without a doubt, essential to the ecosystems they inhabit. Let's talk about behavior, intelligence, and strategies. Crabs are far from mindless marine automatons. Here are some of their most fascinating behaviors. When it comes to communication, they use visual signals, claw gestures, vibrations, and even sounds in some land species to communicate. During courtship, some males dance or fight to impress females. Studies show that some crabs possess long-term memory and can learn from past experiences. They can even be trained to navigate mazes and recognize safe environments. Autotomy, or self-amputation, is another remarkable trait. When caught, a crab can intentionally detach a limb to escape and then, over time, regenerate it. Symbolism and culture, hmm, the crab in human imagination has always been fascinating. When we talk about mythology and astrology, Cancer, the fourth zodiac sign, is represented by a crab which is actually linked to the Greek myth of Heracles. And, you know, in many Asian cultures, the crab stands for resilience, transformation, and protection. In Japan, there's the famous Heike crab with a shell that looks like it has a human face. This is tied to a legend about fallen samurai warriors. In art and literature, crabs appear in marine artworks, medieval alchemical symbols, and even as hybrid creatures in myth. These days, they pop up in pop culture too, from Disney's Sebastian to those realistic portrayals in documentaries like from the BBC or National Geographic. So let's talk about some things you probably didn't know about crabs. Crabs can actually walk in any direction, but they move sideways most efficiently. And that's just because of how their legs are built. Some species dig these really elaborate tunnels with dedicated rest chambers, which is honestly pretty impressive. And believe it or not, some terrestrial crabs can produce audible sounds to scare off predators. There are even crabs that live at more than 6,000 meters deep, down where the pressure would be fatal for almost every other creature. Crabs have a pretty wild diet too. They can be herbivores, omnivores, carnivores, filter feeders, and even parasites. Their eyes are another marvel. Crabs have compound eyes which give them panoramic vision and the ability to detect polarized light. Oh, and here's a fun fact. Some female crabs can store sperm for months so they can fertilize their eggs long after mating. The future of crabs is, well, deeply tied to climate change and adaptation. Crabs are ecological indicators, meaning their health really reflects the condition of our oceans. Some species are actually migrating to cooler waters because of global warming. Ocean acidification is a big problem too. It's weakening their exoskeletons, which threatens the more delicate species. At the same time, some populations like the blue crab are expanding really rapidly and that's causing imbalances in ecosystems. So to wrap things up, the crab is much more than just a beach creature or something you find on your plate. It's a prehistoric survivor 
an environmental engineer, a master of camouflage and adaptation, and a cultural symbol that spans centuries and civilizations. And above all, it's a silent witness to the history of life on Earth, known for millennia but honestly, still full of secrets.